to All Things Manish, the YouTube channel that gives you the reviews that could matter. Today's review is about the Super Tooth Buddy, which effectively is a Bluetooth connection for your mobile phone, which gives you hands-free operation in your car. Some time ago, I started researching for a device that would give me the option of having a Bluetooth connection to my mobile phone, allowing me hands-free operation in terms of um, making calls <clears throat> and receiving calls uh, without having to really touch the phone. I'm an Apple user, so my iPhone had Siri, and that allowed me to make calls and, receive, and uh, answer calls by just speaking to Siri. However, um, I wanted an, a, loud, a loud speaker in the car, as I didn't have at that time Bluetooth connection in the car. Having done a lot of research, I found this Supertooth Buddy, and uh, really is a superb um, gadget for the car. It allows you to um, answer calls, it allows you to make calls through Siri because once you've got this connected to, the, to your mobile phone, in terms of an Apple, you can use Siri and this comes out as a loudspeaker. It's very clear, it's very uh, precise in its clarity and the volume is, is set nice, which is also adjustable. And the other thing is, um, it's, it stays in the car all the time and you don't have to switch it off. The controls on this device are very easy to use and they're also very flexible. As you can see from here, we have the big green button here, which allows you to answer calls and also to counsel calls. Then at the bottom, you have the uh, power button as well as the pairing button, which allows you to pair via Bluetooth to your mobile phone. At the top, we have the two volume controls. This is an up volume and a down volume control. And as I say, in terms of flexibility, there is a lot of volume control and it does come out quite loud. At the back, we have the charging socket. Uh, see that there, yeah. The charging socket, which is a USB charger. Now, when it comes to charging this device, it's quite amazing because I've charged it and then I've actually not bother to charge it again for possibly up to two to three weeks, depending of course on, on your, your usage. But once you've charged it, you don't really need to worry about it because what it will do is it will give you an audible warning when the charge is getting very low. Fitting this into your car on the sun visor is very simple. The fact is, it's so simple that um, once you've put this clip on your sun visor, you don't really need to worry about um, detaching it at all. The clip is metal and a very strong metal. This is connected to the back of the actual device by a magnet. So you could do this two ways. Uh, you could put the clip on and you can either have it on the outside, there we go, clipped in, on the outside of your sun visor, which is really good because it's nice, the device is nice and slim, so it allows you to uh, blend in with the actual sun visor. Or, as I used it all the time anyway, I connected it on the inside, because I, <laughs> I don't often use the mirror, although, Maybe I should in future. And <clears throat> you then push your sun visor up and it's completely hidden. It does flash a blue light when it's actually uh, connected via, blu via Bluetooth to your phone. And um, at night, this could be a little distracting to you. However, <clears throat> you can always sort of twist this around so the actual blue light is on the really on the inside, in which case then you don't see it. <clears throat> I think my voice is going. Let's 
get that clip off. If you wanted to use this anywhere else in the car, then I suppose you could fit it uh, to other areas. However, um, the sun visor is probably the best way of fitting it and probably the best place to actually fit this device. I found this device extremely useful when I used it. I don't use it now because I have um, Bluetooth connection in my car. However, once you've, uh, one of the advantages of using this, as I say, is once it's uh, fully charged, you connect it to your Bluetooth on your mobile phone, you don't have to switch this off. You can keep this on all the time. You don't have to do anything. When you come back to your car, um, it's already switched on. You'll hear a beep, an audible sound, which tells you that your uh, mobile phone is now connected to this device. There's nothing else you need to do. As I say, you get the audible warning when it actually uh, starts getting low on charge. Okay, I'll leave the link for this device down below. You can also leave your comments or any questions you have down below. Or you could go to our webpage, allthingsmanish.com, where you can leave comments uh, via the contact page, or if you have any questions, use that as well. You can also see other reviews that uh, I've carried out for All Things Manish, and some of them are written together with the product links um, buttons where it takes you straight to where that product is on Amazon. Thank you for watching. I do hope that you've got something out of this. Do subscribe to All Things Manish at YouTube, and I will be... Um, you doing some videos in the very near future, probably next month, November, uh, which are based on gift videos, uh, reviews, so that you can actually see some of the products that I've reviewed, and maybe you want to buy them as Christmas gift, because we are getting close to Christmas. Okay, great to uh, be with you again, and I hope to see you very soon. Until then, remember, all things manish.